I reconciled with the Lord back in 2014. I have a question that's been lurking around in my head for many years now. I used to do rap music in the world. Is it okay if I use it for the kingdom of heaven to to inspire this new generation nowadays and rap about the things Jesus has for them instead of the devil? That is a good question. We're going to talk about that. Let's take a look at a scripture here. The Bible states in Colossians 3.23, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men. And not unto men. That is the basis of whether or not worship music, gospel music, is permissible. But the way I view music is, I see the instrument as the instruments as not being evil. What I focus on primarily are the lyrics. What I hear are songs that are magnifying God, that are blessing the Lord, that are teaching a person how to overcome this world and what to look out for, how to how to like I said, uh, crucify the flesh. Uh, giving a testimony of where they came from and how God pulled them out of the bondage and how God pulled them out of the pit. And now they're glorifying God and they're encouraging others to do the same through rap music. And that's a good thing. So if that is what you are desiring to do, if you're desiring to expose the unfruitful works of darkness, praise God. And you can do it through poetry or through rap music and put a, you know a beat behind it and 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 bless the Lord and magnify God, then go for it. I don't see anything wrong with that. As long as the lyrics are glorifying God, not mingling with the world. The same can be said for country music. You know, country artists who sing in a certain style, but they're magnifying God. The same can be said for a rock musician who's magnifying God through lyrics. Third Day was very instrumental in my early Christian walk. When I came to the Lord, I listened to a lot of their CDs at the time. Mac Powell, the lead singer. It's really a blessing. Hearing those songs, being encouraged in my faith, hear, hearing lyrics that magnify God. But there are certain so-called Christians who don't believe that third day type music is is of God. They think it's of the devil because they call it rock music. Well, you can't take a whole genre of music and label it of the devil, especially when the music is glorifying God and it's gospel music. So we have to be very cautious in calling the things of God, the work of the spirit of the devil, because that can be borderline blasphemy. And we don't want to do that. That's why in this ministry, we don't cut off any genre of music. I believe that there are people with good motives in, in the rap music field that are singing songs unto the Lord or rapping songs unto the Lord and ministering to uh, people in, in their walk with the Lord through, through the lyrics. And you can hear it. It's just It blesses you. I've experienced it. I've been blessed. I know that there are certain rock musicians in the faith of Jesus Christ as they sing unto the Lord and they play the mus musical instruments in accord with their lyrics and they're magnifying God, it blesses me. So back to the question, in conclusion, is it okay to rap or do rap music for the kingdom of God to inspire others? Yes, it is. As long as your lyrics are glorifying God or magnifying the Lord, uh, testifying to how on how God pulled you out of the pit, exposing Satan, exposing the unfruitful works of darkness, talking about salvation, talking about uh, overcoming the the deeds of the flesh. If you can if you can rap about that and really bring a heavy blow to the devil's kingdom, then that, then that's a a good thing, and that's going to benefit others who may be listening to rap music, worldly rap music, and then you slip in the gospel rap music, and then you plant the seeds and that's a that's a beautiful thing 
The same thing happens with rap and with metal. Uh, uh, people who do it for the Lord in rap and metal. They'll slip in a metal song and, and a worldly person might think that that's a metal song. They're waiting for, you know, these, you know, demonic type lyrics and they hear lyrics that are glorifying God. You just planted a seed there. So it's a wise thing to do. Me personally, I listen to everything. I listen to, to hymns. I listen to instrumental. I listen to a little bit of rap, a little bit of country, a little bit of rock, a little bit of metal, all glorifying God, gospel, gospel music, different genre, but gospel. And it just depends on the season that I'm in, the time of the day, what, what hits my mood at the time and what inspires me. So beware of those who say, oh, you should only listen to hymns or this soft type music. No, 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 no. God can be glorified with drums, with a guitar, with bass, with, uh, you know, a, a trumpet. What's his name? Uh, Phil Driscoll. I believe he plays the trumpet or the saxophone. One of the two, but he just plays the saxophone, but he's, it's an instrumental of a, uh, a traditional Christian type hymn or song. And it's just amazing what he can do on that instrument and glorify God. And you can just glorify God along with the music. And it's just a beautiful thing. So that is how I view it. These are my opinions. And you can develop your own opinions, but this is my testimony and how I get blessed. I, I, I receive the blessing that these artists are giving through their music as long as the lyrics are in, in, in accord with the gospel, with the word of God. Amen. It can be it can be a good thing. I hope this message has been a blessing to you. Until next time, go in peace in Jesus' name. Amen.